why the fellas is mad at us we can used to do better so I was talking to one of my homegirls not too long ago and she tells me she's met the perfect guy right she's like he's great he's handsome um great job all of that right oh nobody's perfect of course but standard wise preference wise he met everything so then Later on, she tells me, and she's like, oh, I dubbed him. You know, he's just not right for me. And I'm like, well, what happened? Like, everything was good. Like, you were saying, like, this could have been future hubby. Like, it, like, you was damn near on the right track for everything. Like, he was just matching up. You know what this woman tells me? She says, his car is old. And I say, okay, what, what does that mean? That, what does that mean? She's like, well, he's been in his career for 10 plus years. He should have a brand new car. He should have something from this year. Like, why don't you have a more expensive car? Sis, sounds like he doesn't have a car payment. Sounds like he doesn't have um, an extra seven, eight hundred dollars that he has to spend a month or how much ever a car payment is. It sounds like he's saving up money. What's the problem? Does it work? Does it have an auxiliary cord? Does it have heat and air conditioning? That's all I really care about. Do the windows go up and down? Has it passed inspection? That's really all that counts. But you're worried about it being an old car? Really? You're going to pass him up because his car is old? Just little shit like that that explains why these men are sick of us. Because you could have a perfectly good guy with a good career. He takes care of himself. You know what I'm saying? Like... I everything that you could ask for and it's just it's just not enough but it's women like me that will love on y'all i just want to let you know that all right so she just said it. it's women like her that will love on y'all first of all i have a lot to say i have a lot to say first of all let's get into it this is supposed to be her friend and she got on the internet to tell her business instead of actually telling her herself, instead of telling the world what she needed to hear. Um, I don't think that they're probably friends just the, by the way she reacted over that. But it just gave me like, look at these type of women and then look at me. But then I looked at her finger, her ring finger, and it was still empty. So it's like women also like that. It's like they give that what what do we call pick me vibes? And I'm just I just wish the pick me's all had rings. So that's one thing. Now let's hold home girlfriend accountable because girl, what are there women out there that exist like that? Yes, and it depends on the age and the mentality. Okay, thank God that this guy did not get choose by this woman because it just shows you what type of woman she is from the beginning. She's obviously immature and she's not responsible. She's worried about a man on outside appearances instead of his financial responsibility. If I see a man that run across him and he doesn't have a car note and his car is old, but he has a good job and he treats me well, I don't care. I don't care about this new car type of thing. I would ask him like, hey, long as it's not a broken down car and it's not like I don't feel safe in the car, then it's fine. And even then he can have a car like that. Like you never know what's his plan. Like there are many millionaires and men with money that drive around in basic cars, basic clothes, basic shoes. You would never know they got money. 
until you actually, and they live in like basic homes, not even basic homes, but you would think that they would live in this grand big mansion. They live in nice homes. Their homes are furnished. I can say that, you know, but they're really smart and financially smart with their money. So ladies, stop looking at the appearance and seeing what men have to offer because i can say that it doesn't matter what kind of car he drives because there's a lot of men driving nice cars are in, in total debt okay they don't have no money all they're doing is paying their car note every month and surviving paycheck to paycheck respect the hustle of the man who is being responsible not the man who's putting on a show ladies we gotta open up our eyes and not be fooled by the show i don't know how many times i've seen a guy right and he's living in this nice ass house and he's posting all these cars on his instagram and i like pull up to his house and he's he ain't living like that. He got a couple of roommates, you know. Um, the cars that they were posting was the homeboy cars, the homie cars. There was a big homie. Basically, he was a sugar baby because it was one guy that was actually making money and the rest of them were eating off of the sugar daddy. Yes, there are men out there who are sugar boos. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. Are they sugar daddies? You know, sugar babies, sugar booze, like what are y'all? Because it's really men out there that call them the big homie, living off they homeboys, fronting on they homeboys, acting like they, you know, living like they homie. No, your homie is the big man, not you. Your homie is the one that got money, not you. Your homie is the one that had enough credit and enough money in his bank account to afford that big condo that y'all living in. Don't be fooled because I've been around a lot of people who was faking the funk and they was not really living that entire life. It's sad. It's really sad. So I don't care about the show. I'm grown enough to say, hey, if you're working hard enough, you look good on paper, you're responsible, you're financially responsible because there's, it's for us in the, in my community, it's a lot of men, especially because of social media. It's a lot of men and women who front like they got. It's a lot of girls carrying around expensive bags and they live in. <laughs> Let me not go there because I actually lost a friend because of that. I lost a friend because she wanted to stay in an, in an expensive apartment in Midtown. And I said, girl, like, that's not really smart. Like, you know, like I think you and your man should probably get a house if y'all are going to be paying that much money. And she got mad and was like, we'll do whatever we want to do because they wanted to live, you know, a certain way. Okay, cool. Then when it came down to Christmas time, it's actually around this time of the year that I lost the friendship. Um, she had a, she, we were talking about purses and, you know, my man had bought me a, a, a nice purse um, for Christmas. He was getting this purse that I wanted. And when I was talking to her about it, it was like, she was like, yeah, I'm about to buy myself this purse. And I was like, oh, dang, you got the hookup, you got the deal, like, or you buying the actual like purse from the store. And when I was just like, she questioned her about it. She got mad, like, you don't know my financial situation. And I was like, but I do, because you talk about your financial situations all the time. So it just wouldn't be smart for you to go and buy like a eight thousand dollar purse unless you got like the hookup and she got mad because i don't know it's just a lot of people out there that's buying purses and stuff like that that's not real okay fellas don't be fooled by every girl walking around with their you know gucci bag and they living in credit card debt like ladies don't be fooled with a lot of these men driving around these nice cars because they're in debt and they're living paycheck to paycheck or they living at their mama house or a lot of them is collecting what is that called? Um, not insurance. They're collecting. Um, I don't know. I can't think of it, but they collected something like, what is that called? I can't think of it. I can't think of it, but it's a lot of people out there that's fronting like they got it and they really don't.